Hi, Amanda Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I've caused some controversy with this de-lidding. Um, a lot of people seem to have quite strong feelings about processors. It's far more, far stronger than I ever had, to be honest with you. As long as it worked and I could play my games, then that was fine. But uh, so be it. Um, so I thought what I'll do is continue this sort of teardown process on this bad boy here because uh, clearly it looks like the actual die is somehow soldered to this heat spreader. So it would be nice still to remove that. And we should be able to remove that through the application of heat. So just to show you that, that's the bottom part. There's not really... Focus. Come on, camera. Come on, you can do it. There's not really too much to see there because it's basically like a PCB with some blobs of stuff. So we're probably not going to bother touching that. It's This is the bit we're interested in. So you can see here there is certainly a lot of gubbins. We've got some of these components here that I've been told are drivers or sort of drivers, buffers, resistor packs. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're just like magic dust at this stage now. So we're going to leave the magic dust off. You can see here that it's just still fascinating just to see the different parts that make up the uh, chip. I would guess it's these. These are the cores these four cores in each corner and then you've got all your buses and memories and caches and all that good stuff in there. Now something that's quite surprising in this, it's, it's actually pretty bloody thick too. These actually are quite thick because you can see here that's the lip there. That lip is probably about a millimetre and then the whole thing is at least four. So it's at least three millimetres thick in the, uh, the most part. So let's just not waste any more time and start heating it. We're going to go straight up to 500 degrees, that's the maximum I have. I'll try not holding this. And the aim of, aim of the uh, sort of experiment here is to see if I can just lift the die off. Heat is now on. To help speed things along, I'm going to apply a tiny bit of uh, flux, basically. But you wouldn't be able to do this, of course, if you're doing it from the outside. But it's going to take you ages to heat a heat sink this large from the outside, I can tell you. You probably will cook the chip doing so. So you can see the solder's melting, it's pretty hot now. There it goes, that's the solder's gone. Wow, ee, look at that. Yeah. So it really is just soldered on. I mean, They've obviously just sort of uh, done something with the uh, layers. I think there's some comments on the earlier video suggesting that they've actually just sort of built the layers in such a way that it's solderable. So that is exactly it. So you're going to have to get it up to some bloody temperature, I can tell you, though. That is crazy. So that would have been on there like that and just a big square of solder. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise really doing this on a working chip, I think it's it's kind of a dodgy move. But if the chip's faulty anyway, you've got nothing to lose. Have a go. I kind of wish I had another one to try, one that sort of appears to be faulty. But 
again looking at that solder i don't think your chip will ever get hold on hot enough to really damage that solder so de-lidding it I, I don't really know what you're going to get out of that i'll just be careful of it you might be better off just sort of i kind of want to grab the lid but it's still hot here we go I mean, it might be interesting taking a micrometer across here and just sort of testing it, you know, on a milling bed or something just to see if these are actually flat. I mean, if you had a dip or a curve in that, but I can't see. It's still pretty damn flat. Very bloody hot. So let's do just one last experiment while I'm still here. I'm going to heat this board up and see how easy it is to lift these chips because you can see they're basically under a sort of resin. So they're semi-potted, so we can see if those will lift inadvertently. So at least you know if you heat the top, if you've got a good chance of getting the top off without these jumping ship. Although these ones around the edge, yeah, you're less you're less uh, likely to save those. looking pretty heat resistant so far. I suspect that this has got the resin on it to protect it uh, from heat when they actually solder the main body down. You can, you can see the solder melting. It's definitely hot enough to melt solder. Good. So that's it. That just shows you. So this uh, resin over these chips here that are near the center actually does protect them from the heat. They're not going to sort of delaminate. So yeah, you've got a pretty good chance. I suspect actually if you uh, heat the whole thing, I reckon the lid might well just pop off without too much sort of cutting around it. I don't really... Uh, I can see this sort of silicone-y stuff is getting a bit sort of loose looking. So maybe just by getting that solder off, you'll get the rest off. And look at this area here. You see this sort of slightly golder colour? That's like this area sort of treated sort of tinned to take the solder there you go fascinating fascinating let the flames begin because i know if anybody's watching this video you're about to sort of start flaming each other between uh, intel and amd so enjoy guys thanks for watching